Awesome. Um, so another tool that I think is really underrated for folks with paid subscriptions on is being able to use special offers, which are built into the Substack platform. Um, so you can go to your settings page of your publication, and there's this area that says manage special offers. And that way you can create either a discount or a free trial for your publication. And I think that these tools are really good to get comfortable with because they can be super powerful once you pair them with other tactics, such as subscribe buttons, such as targeted emails, which we'll go over later, or any sort of promotion campaign you do. Just attaching even a small discount would oftentimes help drive subscribers who might not otherwise. Um, so each special offer, whether a discount or a free trial, can be customized with options like if it's a limited time offer, if it's only students, if it's only people with a certain organization like a at a company .com address, um, whether it is only for annual plans. So there are all of these settings that you can go through and learn about. Um, and you can also create custom links for each special offer you make and give those to, say, other writers you cross promote with or give those to influencers in your field so that they can share sort of exclusive to their followers um, a link to an offer that is not available to the general public. And so let me walk through some examples of how writers are cleverly using them. So we'll start out with discounts. Um, so discounts or like sales or whatever, like 20% off, 50% off. Um, these are really great ways to target high potential free readers, whether that's via your subscriber dashboard or to punctuate milestone moments. Um, so sometimes writers will run discounts for like a one year anniversary of going paid, or maybe it's the holiday season. And so you might uh, do a holiday sale, or perhaps you are a family newsletter and you will do a sale on Mother's Day or Father's Day or something like that. Um, so one example of a discount is um, Caroline Chambers. So she is a food writer on Substack. And once she earned the same amount of money through her Substack as she did writing her first cookbook through a major publishing house, um, she offered a 15% off sale to readers. And I thought that that was a really clever milestone moment to sort of celebrate her publication and her journey as an independent writer. Um, our second special offer example um, option is the free trial. Free trials can encourage readers who are sort of sitting on the fence uh, to subscribe, especially if they sort of want a peak of your paid posts and they haven't gotten to do so yet. Um, so our free trials a subset allows you to do do require subscribers credit card information and it, it will charge them if they don't cancel before expiry, but that's something that you can definitely communicate with your readers so they know what to expect. I think one of the most interesting uses of the free trial is something that um, Brian from the Lun Loop does. So the Lun Loop is a finance newsletter, and so a lot of their content is for paid subscribers only. Um, but the thing that he does is you can customize your welcome emails uh, to your free su subscribers. So anytime somebody uh, signs up for your publication, they automatically get an email from you. That's something you can set in your settings page and you can edit that page. And so what the Lun Loop does is he automatically gives every free subscriber um, a link to a free trial for like 14 days. Um, and so for anyone who is maybe like they're clearly interested in your publication. They clearly like might want to become a paying subscriber. Those people can automatically sign up for a free trial so they can sort of start previewing the paid posts and really decide whether this is the kind of information that's valuable to them. And I think that this gets a ton of new subscribers to try out the paid subscription option when they might not have otherwise. And again, they can always cancel before the period is up if they decide that this isn't something that they're interested in. Um, our final option is, it's not exactly in the same special offer section, but you can create gift subscriptions for any publication. Um, so your readers probably have friends, family, coworkers who would also enjoy your writing. And so nowadays, instead of maybe gifting somebody like a book, another option is to gift them a paid subscription to a Substack that they would really, really enjoy. Um, so anyone can access the gift subscription option by going to yourdomain.substack.com slash gift. And that's a link that you can share with your readers, maybe with like a give a gift button or something like that, um, to encourage them to gift your newsletter as a gift to their friends and family. It's also sort of like a effective almost referral system, because again, your readers are going to know who of their friends would love your newsletter. Um, so here's an example of what that interface looks like once you go to your Substack and with a slash gift, um, you can choose to put in the recipient's email address and to write a personal message sort of telling them why they might like your publication. <laughs> 